Hey guys, today we're crafting. I'm sure we'll be using glitter. Maybe we'll do some painting. Do these colors suit me? Hmm. Should we do some pop art? I don't know what we're gonna craft today, but let's get started. Hey guys, so today we're crafting and we're gonna see how many different Christmas trees we can make out of these foam little Christmas tree shaped things. They're foam cones. Anyway, this one I wrapped lights around the best I could. It doesn't really stay and I don't want to hot glue them. And now I'm gonna put something around it. Ribbon maybe? Or I don't know. Pom-poms? We're gonna see. Maybe ribbon. So here you go. It is wrapped with the ribbon. Of course, I have some glue mess like I always do, but it's okay because we're going to decorate it some more. Um, I don't know how this... Oh, yeah, it looks really cool with the lights underneath. All right, let's decorate it some more and find where we can stand it, where it stands straight. So the first thing I did was just glue a wooden star on there. I don't know if I'm going to paint it yet, but that's going to be the star. Okay, so basically what I did was I just put snow wherever I thought I made a mess. I put one little candy cane, and instead of painting it, I just put snow on the star. And so far we're looking good. Let's find something to put it in or stand on. Okay, guys, what do you think? Basically, I just put this bead on the bottom that I had. Um, my table was not good. <laughs> this bead on the bottom and um, a little snow to cover where the lights go on. And I'll show you what the light's on. And oh, I'll turn off the lights. There you go. What do you think, guys? I love it. I think it's beautiful. I like that I went really simple this time instead of you know, blinging it all out. I think this is real simple farmhouse kind of thing. I love it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Super easy, guys. And here it is all lit up next to my little house where it's going to go on my Christmas scene. And let's do another one. So this one, how about we try the gnome hair around it? And then decorate it. What do you think, guys? Let's try it. Okay, so what I did was I literally glued it around the top first. And then I put down this side because that's where I wanted it. And now I'm just going to wrap the rest, glue it, and cut it right where it needs to be cut. Oh my god, it's going to look adorable. Okay, so there's with the hair that I would use for the gnomes. And yeah, if we decorated some more and put like maybe a bow on top, I don't know. It should look really, really cute. Let's decorate it. Okay, so far here's this one. I just put a bow on top and I took this pick apart. I don't even know where I got it. Probably the dollar store near me, which is not a Dollar Tree. It's like a discount store. And I just put that around. Now you could leave it or you can put some of this. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. All right, guys. So here's that one. I gave it bunny ears and just three little hearts. The heart there and two little hearts there. That's all I had left. I don't love the hair. I think we should have just made it a gnome. Or if we had... What it would have looked better with would have been just gold stars, like those confetti stars, you know, um, or stickers, those gold stickers you give to the kids and just put it on lightly on the hair without any hot glue. It would work good because it's hard to work with the hair, but that's that one. I really like it with the lights off. Oops. <laughs> um, next to those, it, it, it works. I like the bunny ears. <laughs> okay, so this is a smaller cone. And I was thinking I have this like 
fur I also use for gnome hair. What if we actually make a gnome one? Let's see. Okay, now he's all furred out again. I got a little hat. Now I'm just going to find something to put for a nose, and we're going to make this gnome Christmas tree. So, all right, I glued on his nose. Now let's glue on his hat. He kind of looks like Fester Adams, but let's get him on a stand and give him something in his hand, maybe. I don't know. He needs a little more. So I want to make him holding something. How I do that is I just make a little hole with the scissor. I'm going to put in that hole a drop of hot glue. Because I don't want to mess up his beard. And then I'm going to stick him whatever he's going to be holding. And I had him holding a tree and a candy. Maybe I want to just put that candy out a little more. Kind of looks like he has different arms. I don't know. I should put another candy instead of the tree. I don't know. Okay, guys, I decided I liked the candy hanging out there. I just decorated his beard because he is the tree, technically. I decorated his hat a little. I gave him a wreath. And that was it. Oh, <laughs> then I realized, of course, he wouldn't stand because he was too heavy. So I glued the, the um, see these from the dollar store? I glued the bead and him directly onto that. So you see, and now he stands and I'm a happy camper. And that is our gnome Christmas tree. All right. So what do you guys think? Look at him. He is cute. No, I love it. And that's our other two there. So we did so good. You could do tons of things. Just wrap rope. Um, coffee filter. If you cut around the coffee filter. But they're expensive now. But maybe the Dollar Tree has them. And put the coffee filter around. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different ideas. But... Just using these, that's what I did today. Just to kind of show you what you could do. Be creative. Much love to you all, and we'll see you on the next adventure.